One thing that I just do not understand, or don't know if I could get used to, is how much it rains here. Like, just pouring rain the whole way, um, pouring rain at the base of Whistler here just seems like, uh, you know, I know it's going to be snowing up towards the top, but just have this much rain, like in the middle of winter, it's kind of just something I'm not really used to. So, another day here at Whistler, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll score some fresh snow. Plan today is to explore the Whistler side of the mountain, because yesterday I did Black Ohm. I think I'm going to be subject to the uh, the lines for sure. I just I have no idea where I'm going. I didn't realize I had to pay to park in that lot, so I just had to pay 14 bucks. But honestly, compared to some of the other parking lots that I've had to pay for, it's really not that bad. So all I remember is when I was here in the summer, there was like a bike park area where it seemed like the main area of Whistler, and that's where I'm trying to get to right now. and no visibility but uh, I think they reported about five inches of new snow which would be a nice nice little dusting here but a lot of the upper mountain stuff is on hold right now so I think we're only subject to sort of the mid to lower mountain I'm gonna just get some laps and I guess until they open stuff up if that happens should be pretty good Excuse me, is there any cliffs like this fall line or anything you gotta worry about? Or are they mostly? Yeah, um, I, like that oh, yeah. way there's cliffs, but this way you can make your way around. Okay, so just kind of stay left. Yeah, or like if you go further in here too, like the next gully down is Perfect. pretty good. Thank you. Well, it looked like they opened up a chair called Symphony and everyone on the Whistler side came over here. But apparently I asked someone, this isn't considered busy at all. But it um, snows pretty good. It's a cool area. There's just very low viz at the top there.
afternoon, morning, squad. Uh, I think it's more afternoon. I'm at a place called Sun Peaks Resort, which is in between Whistler and Revelstoke outside a place called Kamloops. It's kind of the only place in this vicinity. It's on the Icon Pass, so rather than just continue driving to Revelstoke, I decided to stop and check it out because the photos are beautiful of this place. It is the second largest resort here in Canada behind Whistler, so that's pretty legit. The only sort of downsides is that it doesn't really get that much snow compared to other places and there isn't really like um, super difficult terrain here compared to the other places in Canada as well. So I think today is more just sort of like a chill um, groomer ish sort of day but more importantly just sort of enjoying these views because the last few days have just been so gray bird and rain and stuff like that. So um, I only have a few hours but I think we're gonna take a peek up this boot pack here because um, it looked pretty good on the other side. One of my favorite things are like these trees, how the trees are like all covered in snow, just super unique stuff. So really stoked. Just gonna kind of boot pack up, see what the deal is. asking a local for advice on this area and he said I can basically hike another click. I gotta be honest, I don't know what the hell a click is. I mean I know it's a unit of measurement but how long is a click? I mean honestly I'm just doing this because of these trees. I've never seen trees like this in person. They look so insane. The snow looks super fresh. The question is is it nice and light and fluffy or is it deceptive but beautiful area and I guess we're gonna ski kind of work our way down Eight long poles. Oh. To be honest, that run was a little bit more anticlimactic than I uh, anticipated. It looked beautiful, I just don't think I really skied it properly. There seems to be quite extensive bowls that go backwards. Or like little hiking. I don't know, I can't really can't tell, but I'm just gonna ski this other shoulder a little bit. It looks like there's some fresh snow still.
a pretty chill day um, very cool resort extremely beautiful um, and I think it's if you're ever passing through the area it is worth checking out um, but you know I wouldn't expect some of the gnarly turn that you'd find at Revelstoke or Whistler but like I said just a cool area um, that kind of reveals itself once you get up on the mountain and uh, kind of that top area they call it the top of the world kind of just like one big bowl um, to kind of pick from so Really nice day, it got very cold towards the end of the day there. I definitely underdressed because I, I think I thought it was warmer than it was with, with the blue sky finally. Never really regret a, a ski day or going out, so that's all good. And uh, now the plan is to head about three and a half hours, I believe, maybe three hours um, to Revelstoke where I, I'm supposed to have a hotel there, which will be nice to sort of reset and just sort of get my, my bearings, I guess. So I'm gonna head back down into Kamloops and then um, further east to Revelstoke. Not sure if I really made this clear. I might have at some point, but I had stayed in touch with the marketing manager of Revelstoke Mountain Resort and 
her name was Laura. Laura knew that I was coming back up here to Revelstoke, and she was like, let me know if you need anything, put you in a hotel, whatever, and I don't even know if I really said yes, okay, but she was like, hey, I booked you a hotel for three, four nights um, at the Sandman in town, so just because of the videos that, the, the video that we made at Revelstoke and just, you know, I guess just meeting her and stuff like that, she decided to kind of put me up, complimentary of Revelstoke. Just, I, I feel like it really couldn't have came at a better time with everything going on with the van right now. King size bed, um, I think this pulls out uh, to a sofa. It's like a corner suite, so pretty nice. But, uh, you know, I typically would not have paid for a hotel. That's why I have the van, but because uh, Revelstoke decided to hook it up, hot shower, bathroom, you know, the uh, the general creature comforts that we can take for granted easily. So I will say the, one, the lighting in here is awful, but I will say the roads in British Columbia, it is insane. There's just no lights. It was super foggy. Like the roads are like, man, the concentration it takes to be driving the van um, when you have, you know, big semis, single lane, like it's a, it's no joke when you get up here, uh, especially towards the interior, like we are now, uh, with Revelstoke and stuff like that. So this is well needed. Hopefully I can get re-inspired, feel a little bit better lately, have some internet again. So that, that'll be nice, but thank you Revelstoke. Thank you, Laura for hooking me up.